And let's see, delete the oldest one. Gotta hope this video state. I hope this video process well. So I've never, so I think this might, other outside of like master mode, yeah, outside of master mode in Breath of the Wild, I don't think, I think this is like the first time I've done like the quote unquote hard mode of a game for Zelda, for Zelda at least. Hi, Marin. Can I have shield now? Thanks for shield. So anyway, how are you folks doing today? Having a good Saturday? As it takes, there you go. Yeah, bow wow. All right, can't do anything with this stuff yet. I actually have to go down to the beach. I'm impulsively pressing my Y button. Because I'm so used, because I'm so used to using an item that I've like never left off the Y button while I was playing on my own file. Mr. Owl, can you please go away? Don't care. Oh, that's good. Personally, I've been watching YouTube videos and been glued to my phone all day playing the Dragali event. Because I realize the rewards I miss. It's like, oh, I should set, spend my endless amount of resources that I have not spent since they've been giving them to us at the start of the game. And probably should spend them on re the rewards so I can actually have everything from this limited time event. Anyway, I have an sword. So who wants to take who wants to take bets on how many times I die? I'm gonna say at least five. Okay, what am I doing? There's a Brain is the frazzled. Even though I haven't done anything all day, I'm like really out of it right now. Okay, I've only got one rupee, so doing any of the mini games in town is not even worth it at this point. Oh. And even though I've done, really done nothing all day, my back hurts. Ow. May want to visit the fairy pond before I go too much. If I, if I even get touched one more time, I should go visit the fairy pond. Oh, good. That's the chunk of change I need to start on the side quest and the heart and the heart piece collection and the everything. Oh, 
Also, I might not play. I might not play this the whole stream. Like it was just yesterday, and I literally mean like approximately 22 hours ago that I finished the recordings for the the file that's going the uh, playthrough that's going up on YouTube. So I'm a little burned out on the game, but I'm not like burned out to the point where I don't want to play this. Because this is probably one of my, this is one of my favorite Zelda games, one of my favorite games of all time as well. All right, back to normal mode for the next 10 seconds. Not gonna lie, I tried to jump over the pit. Eh, I'll be, now I better go, I better play it safe. I managed to run away from the fairy. I am the smart, as they say. Also, in terms of, like, experiencing the story, I'm just gonna warn people right now who are here to experience the story, I'm probably not gonna... I'm probably not gonna sit here and read all the story dialogue stuff. I am probably just gonna blitz through a lot of this game and hit B to skip as much text as possible. So, give me that fair warning in advance. <laughs> Hello, Gavin. And I'll probably be liberally using powder just so I don't do stupid things. And it's easy to attack people. Because this is a one shot. On most enemies. Do it again. Why the powder is so effective, I could not tell you. I also need to stop confronting dudes. You know, I would hate to talk a big game and then suddenly just keel over right away. Hi, Taryn. You done goofed and died? Bye. Give, please. Also, I really hope it doesn't happen, but I actually had this game crash on me once throughout my while well, I was playing through normal mode. So this game can crash. It mainly just involves the boss from the last the last uh, dungeon in the game, but still, hey, can you heal me? Nope, you can't. Where's the way to the fairy's fountain from here? Over here. Like as soon as I get at least one more heart container, I feel like I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be not as scared of the game, but I'm definitely gonna be trying to go for that no dying perfect run. Trying and actually succeeding are two entirely different words, by the way. Words, phrases, tomato, tomato.
Hello, my good man. I wish to have a Yosh. Ten rupees starts off this entire trade sequence. Dusty. You know what? You tried to jank me? I still got it. There, heart piece. And just so I can make some money back on this. Money back guarantee. As us Cargoon would say. There. I got everything out of this house and I'm still up and I'm still up thirty rupees. Everything I care for anyway. Lower the gate so I can grab my Yoshi doll. You're right, I can't count how many games I've seen him in because they put him in every single game. Every single game. Let's see. So does he, I wonder, does he already have a secret seashell? Do you, yes you do. I can go over, the, I just, I just remembered I can just go over to the controls and do this. I, like, I'm dumb. Anyway. Make it, make it so I only spend a fraction of the rupees I'm going to end up spending here. I don't need, I don't need to pick up the figurines, but I'm, I guess I'm gonna. Just because I'll be here picking up other things in the meantime. Plus, it's my, compul it's my compulsiveness when I play this game to pick up everything. Eh, that's a little off-center. I got janked. Hey, Farf. I had 69 rupees at one point. I just realized- I just saw that. Mother Hubbard! <laughs> Whoo! I almost dropped a big bomb right there. <laughs> this is not gonna work as I want it to at all. God bless America, help me. The jank is actually real in hero mode. Come here. I want my money back. Pop it over the railing this time. Let's go. You know, I need some money. I need I need at least like installment fee money for for the fishing game, please, game. Oh boy. That's the thing, I didn't have this much trouble in my playthrough either. But now the game's like, you're in hard mode? Well, well that's funny. I'm gonna be mad if I'm hitting the console, and that's what's stopping the crane from hitting the bottom. Up. Left. Good boy! Yes. Because unfortunately, I like collectibles too. And this really nets you nothing other than a chamber stone in the long run, but I still want it. No. Well, there went that 50 rupees. Mm 
Like in all, like in all my time of playing this so far, uh, playing this so far, that's the wor that's the most amount of jank that's been delivered to me while I've been playing. Okay, nothing else in here, so we're not gonna come in here. We're instead gonna get the secret seashell that lies hidden in the grass. There it is. I don't think the shop has anything at this point. It has the piece of heart in the shell right off the get-go. Okay. So we might make a little bit of money back on the, on this for, for now. Well, yeah, we might make a little bit of money back while we do some of this opening uh, banter. Because I'm going to do the trading quest and I'm going to drop off the trophy. Uh, but I am also... I am also <clears throat> going to be doing the fishing, which has... Many a thing. Unfortunately, some of that some of that fishing stuff is left up to luck, as it is with a lot of fishing in, in video games. Bow wow, no. There we go. Oh, Bawa doesn't attack you anymore? Boo! Anyway, gotta catch one of the little guys. Oh, it's all the bottle in here. I forgot about that. I'm up money. Nera. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, do I act? I don't actually have to catch that guy in the, in the weeds, do I? Yep. Yep, we get another fish. Small fish. Actually, it's not a really small one. I'm still up money. Yes. Can I have the other lure yet? Hello, Ravenstar. I'm like 90% certain I can't catch this fish down here at the bottom. Because it is in the thick grass, but I'll try. Not much. I just 100% of this game on normal mode, like last night. So I'm now trying hard mode because I have no respect for myself. Dang it! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Goddamn! Got him! Got him! Heck yeah! I have middleweight lure. And there's the other piece of heart. Hmm. Yes. Uh, well, I meant to change lures, but you know what? This will work. As long as a, fi a fish doesn't grab it. I mean, you don't think I like pain? Dude. I've completed Breath of the Wild three times. Once on, once on Master Mode. Get up, get up, get up. Fish don't touch. Now it's a stealth mission. Dun, 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 no, 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 no! You bitch!
Well, I beat this game because, spoilers, Scooter's old. I, I, uh, I, oh, of course you're gonna bite it, whatever, M money. Scooter's old, Scooter played the original Game Boy version of this game. A little too much. Hey, I lost a rupee on that one. So I kind of knew what I was doing, but I still had to look at a guide for some of the, uh, for some. Yeah, you're going to bop it. Yeah. Now we catch this guy to get him out of the way. No, this is a like this is a good recreation. This is a good recreation of the game. This is good. This is a good recreation of the game. Hey, that's still nine rupees. Give me the middleweight rupe, rupe, uh, lure while I'm thinking of it. It has no it has no impact on my fishing other than it will let me get this bottle faster. Now sink. But yeah, I didn't. Ha I had to look at a guide at one point uh, once for. For two heart God damn it, I have to catch this guy to get him out of the way. Don't let my mans breathe. I might be here fishing for a little bit because there I think there is a couple things I can get. I think no, two of the secret seashells are here. So we're fishing for a bit. Please wait, go down. Come on. Got it past him. Metal Gear style. Yes. Actually, I don't remember if it's two of the stone tablets or if it's two of the... No, it is... I think it is two of the secret seashells. So, the fishes that can spawn here that I know of is... There's one that will spawn down here. There's basically three rare fishes, quote unquote rare fishes. And you have to catch, as far as I know, you have to catch two of the rare fishes. Okay, let him go. Let him go. Dang it. Why? Just get up here. Thank you. But, um, have to catch two of the three rare fishes, and I haven't seen the- I have not seen the third one spawn, but I know where the, uh, two spawn, so to say. No, you're gonna bite this. He'll get interested in it again, give it a minute. So I want to catch this, like, I want to catch, the fish I want to catch is the, whatever one goes into the weeds, and then the, and then the two that are on the top layer. And maybe the one right next, right next to the dock, too. Well, I got duped by him. Okay. 
Hey, buddy, look. It's bait. Anyway, get the one in the gr in the tall grass now. Hmm. Excuse me. Like, at some point, <clears throat> excuse me, at some point, I need to make one final video on Breath of the Wild for that series. That's they like, oh, by the way, there's VR mode in this game now. LOL VR. Now, anybody who's asking me, "Hey, why are you why are you playing this and why are you playing through this and not going to the actual dungeon first? As I, I'm repeating from before, but there are two fish I want to catch, and unfortunately, they're both rare spawns. Hey, you should bite that. Dang it! Thankfully, I know what, what levels they spawn at, so I can kind of farm those locations. That's not it. Dang it. I pulled it back too, too, too soon. I've spent on, on... I've unfortunately have been... I don't think I timed it, but I think I spent like an hour here before, so... Plus, I'm still making money off this, off this fishing endeavor, so why not? The dream right now is that the dream right now is that I do enough fishing. Like, if I do it, as I do enough fishing, that I make enough money to just flat out buy the shovel and start farming up the secret seashells in the game, like super fast, like. You're not who I want to see. Bite the line, Shinji. <laughs> you mean that face like that that he's doing? That, that cute face? Hey, you should bite this line. Also something, cause I'm noticing in my peripherals, but I am like, cause I am watching what the fish is doing, but when the fish is about to bite, Link does like, get a, get a prep stance. He does, he does basically square up to, to the water like, okay, this is the bite. Hey, you should bite this. Damn it, the fish didn't spawn. I'm gonna fish out this pond. I know the fish keep respawning, but I'm gonna fish out this pond. Okay. I may give up on this. I may give up on this dream in a little bit, but right now I'm still dreaming because I'm. I want to say there is another heart piece here. Maybe. Maybe you can't get this early and you have to come back later. Which wouldn't break anybody's heart if I went back, if I came back to this later. Hey. You should bite this. You should bite it. You should get up on land. Evolve legs, damn it! Like, even look at Link's face while I'm reeling in, just the amount of preciousness and the amount of character they've given to this very stale character, I was to say. Stale, by the way. Money. <laughs> Sorry, Nera. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to trigger the PTSD. Sorry, Nair, you owe me, you owe me hella bread and 17 cent. That was really loud and I apologize, but goddamn do I have to do it for this stupid sethical bit. I hear the murmurings of another person. Oh, wow. Hello. I don't, I don't know if you, how long you've been sitting there, but hi. Uh, I just entered Discord. Okay, good. Then you didn't hear me shout really loud into the mic. No, I waited just long enough to avoid that. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I'm gonna st sit here at the pond for too much longer. I I feel like the uh, the other fish are not gonna spawn until I until I at least uh, go visit Dompe for the first time. It's the quality of Final Fantasy 15 experience with Stand By Me playing, <laughs> just fishing in a pond. I mean, they made a VR game out of fishing in Final Fantasy 15 today. <laughs> so, is the best catch in that just Leviathan? Uh, I don't know, actually. I feel like it should be. So. It should be, just for the memes, but I don't think it is. Oh, um, you, you're kind of, I, I believe you play Animal Crossing, so you're kind of clear to this. Also, I'm going to give up on the fishing pond, I think, after this, after this catch, or seeing what, what spawns in here. But, for those of you that are Animal Crossing friends, apparently some of the renders of, of, uh, villagers are, be, are popping up on, have been popping up on Twitter today. So, I'm going to see what spawns this time around. Okay. Yeah, big fish down there, so we're just gonna catch something small. We're gonna catch that fish. Oh, Nintendo did? Okay, I wanted the big guy, but I guess we should catch this. So we'll come back to the pond later. Some of the villagers now have, like, Alternative co have like uh they have new clothes. The sheep actually wear clothes instead of just being balls of fluff. Was a big thing I saw. Okay, it doesn't have anything new. Okay, I think with all of that done. I have four heart containers, or yeah, I have four hearts, so I feel more confident going to the tail cave finally. But like, do understand that if I wanted to, I could have sat at that pond for another hour and probably grind up enough rupees to buy the shovel almost immediately. But your time your time is important. You didn't come here to watch me fish. If you came here to watch me fish, I'm gonna go turn on Sonic Adventure instead. Broken me. Also the last thing I did in this game before I beat before I 100% normal mode 
is uh is the dungeon is the is the challenges for the dungeon builder. So there are so many rooms that come from dungeons that are transplanted transplanted to that dungeon builder that I'm just I'm gonna know I will even more than I already did, I will know exactly what I'm doing the second I enter a room and I'll be done with that room before you before you even think of what's been going on. So of course ask questions if I lose people. No, I do not know where your where your old where your old stuffed animal Pedro went to. Ask your mom. Nope. Oh, back to normal mode for damage. It just dawned on me I didn't do the next the next steps of the side quest. <laughs> <laughs> or the trading quest. Oh well. I wonder if stepping on oh. I wonder if stepping on Goomba still yields hearts. Alright, and that item will never leave my Y button. I hit the home button. Go me. You think I'm kidding. I this the the rock's feather will now never leave my will now never leave my hot bar. Also, no, stepping on Goomas no longer yields hearts in hard mode. Why you stop? That's why. That's why you're no longer allowed to fish in Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> Wait, no. So I found a box on my dad's stove just now, and it said chocolate on it. So I was like, "Oh, there's chocolate here." So I tried to open it, and I kept filling with the box. And then I discovered the hard way that it was a wooden cigar box, and oh. kind of stabbed my hand on what ended up being one of the openings. <laughs> Yeah, apparently chocolate leaf cigars? Uh cocoa leaves, yeah, that makes sense. Also down to one also down to one heart that fast. Hell yeah, baby. Heart one heart run, let's go. Where's your meepos? I have them. I don't think I managed to get him stuck on the island. Sod off. And there goes the everything, right? Yep. All right, there's one death. <laughs> death. Well, we don't get to see the special cutscene that happens at the very end. Which... Yeah. We don't get to see Marin turn into a seagull. Well, actually, we, we could. You give me one minute. What folder do I have open? Okay. We're just going to hop right out of my shitpost folder. Doop to doop. I got to see which video this is. Why am I pulling over here when it's just going to take up the entire screen anyway? Doop.
Here we go. Oh. Here you can watch you can watch the special little cutscene that happens for not dying in went in Link's Awakening. There you go, those five <laughs> seconds. That was, a, that was a short stream. <laughs> there. Now everybody can be happy that they at least saw it. No, no, you stay on that side of the arena, sir. Somehow alive, by the way. Hey! Where's my fairy? Hey! Fairy machine broke. Well, time to go kill Moldorm with only one heart. Leaving you. Although I do like that, I do like the draw the drawing they have of Marin there, because it's like it is very, it's like almost point for point exactly what it looked like in uh, in the original Link's Awakening manual, like the art style, I should get, I should say rather. So like through and through to the, through uh, throughout this game, it is exactly what the original Link's Awakening was. Grezzo did good job. Also, somebody commented on it earlier, and I guess, I guess I really, that kind of, that kind of screams out to what it's like when I, when Screw and I play games. It's the same struggle that a lot of people have. It's like, <coughs> new game, new IP? New game, new IP? I should play it and try it out. Never touches it. Game I've played, I've played 20 times over and has a remake? Done in a week. Christ, Moldar, please, we can talk about this. Moldar, please, we can talk about this. I'm a very fragile little boy. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Alright. He pulled his tail in. He actually had the hard read on me. Oh, never mind, we're done. Oh no, it's Shrek. He's calling from the swamp. See, like, the videos are going up on YouTube. Those are going to be the serious takes on this. The stream, me streaming this, this is where I just shitpost all over it.
Anyway, I can now a jumpu. Yeah. Right, going the wrong way still to do the, to do the questing. Uh, panic, panic in the woods. All right, Miss Pierreal, I understand your precious pooch is dead, slash gone, but uh, I need to give a bow to Chow Chow. Hold on, I just I just looked at the. That's like a, that's like a Baru emote. <laughs> just the face that's on the uh, can of dog food. I mean, everybody's in a panic, but I have more important things to do, like feeding an alligator a can of dog food, including the can. Also, let me do this really quick. Uh, let me add in text. Because I don't know how many people care about this. I don't know how many people will care about this, but I am... I'll ch people will probably be curious about how many deaths I have while, while I'm going throughout this, so... Um, make it a red and a darker red so it stands out against most of this bright coloring. Make it a little see-through in case there's anything people want to see behind it. Uh, can I bolt? Oh, there it is up there. We'll make it edgy. Okay, never mind. I need to make it, uh... Oh, this, this font doesn't have a bolt setting in here. Oops. Oh well. There you go. Because some people are going to want to know, going to want to know that flying in here. Anyway, we now have Banan. Potassium acquired. <laughs> Nut acquired. Oh, wait. God damn it, I think there's something I can do with the Trinity Game Shop. Help the horn section, they're panicking. Yep, there's a Goom Goom Goomba. Timing is there.
Told you it was there. <clears throat> As it kind of lurches into the claw. Anyway, since I'm already here, I'm getting money. So, what made you do it? I like money! <laughs> mm, I don't know if I got that purple. Ooh, this fell out. So apparently there was... Just I'm only bringing this up because you're in because you're here now, but apparently there was some kind of like like, you know major patch to FF14, like another subset of plot happening. Almost. Uh Febu mid February. Oh, okay. So they're just teasing it now, saying, hey, it's coming in like two weeks. Yeah. They're like they're releasing like the special website and like whoa here's what's coming it's gonna be crazy. Uh, Goomba I think goes in this house. <laughs> Hi, Taryn. Here you can wake up to that looking at looking at you in the face. I mean, I feel like this song, this song, Farf, is like the only instance of a remix of this song that will exist on the internet. Okay, nothing, nothing addition, nothing special there. Master Stealth, look out. Okay, so I thought, I definitely thought he hit my shield before he actually hit my shield. Hit boxes are broken, blame Rito. Oh, there's, a, there's another piece of heart I can get right now. And it's not down that hole. Never mind, I can't get it yet. I forgot. It's on the other side of the pond. Or can I get there after I pick up Puppy? I can get there before I pick up Puppy. And the music returns. Hi, big dude. Charge me. No, don't throw a spear. Charge me. Charge me. Not spear. I said not spear. Charge me.
You know, it's a very actually. I just realized how where that where that death's counter is. It's in a bad spot. Let's put it right next. Let's put it right next to the uh, to the head. Because I just realized where it put where it went, and I was like, oh, nobody can see how many times no how much health I have and how close I am to dying. Puppy in tow. Let's go get. Let's go get ourselves another dungeon opened. Cause I'm pretty sure there's nothing else we can do at this point. Get him. Get him too. Fine, I'll get him. Wait, have you even done the first dungeon? Yep. Oh, I guess I just missed it. <laughs> I had something on the screen. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh... Bravo, you suck. There you go. Yes, 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 I know. Dig there. Dig there for fabulous prizes. Thank you. Ah. Problem being bullied by fish. I can almost buy a shovel. It's almost a small position. Whoa. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't hear the comment. What'd you say? <laughs> it's almost as much as a shovel. Oh, that was a bad joke, don't mind me. Eh. It's an A out of 10. Not. Not non existent, but still ah. good. Wait, money. I powdered him. All according to cake. Game. There's really a there's really a, a key hidden in that room. I couldn't tell. All right, expertly played. I'm just going to keep this window open, because I feel like I'm going to need it a lot.
I'm gonna die again. Just because I'm gonna bumble through everything possible. Yep, there it is. Oh no. I risked I risked my life for a stone beak. So glad when I get to when I get a little bit further on in this and I complete the training quest because I will never die from that moment forward. Cause hey, surprise, the boomerang is still just as busted. I wasn't anticipating fighting him this today. Good! Bombs do two hearts of damage. Oh yeah, I should say this, uh, this room and the room just below us, they are both rooms in the Dungeon Maker. Like, there's actually a lot of rooms in the Dungeon Maker. Oh, God damn it. I hate the bats. Oh boy, it's shovel time. I was in I was in a cutscene, I couldn't do anything. Now I really hate bats. Anyway, the single greatest fix to this game is making the pop is making the power bracelet and the Pegasus boots not on an item use button. touched my feet. Oh, wait, I could have picked up that chest at the beginning since I was here. I gotta buy that other that next heart piece some, at some point.
spell bark. Damn it. Now here's the thing I gotta wonder. Is the fairy still gone? Or is the fairy removed at this point, considering the stipulation? Or is it here, even though I've got a bottle? Do I, do, is this bottle useful in this run? Or is it absolutely useless because the fairies are removed too? Fairies are removed too. This bottle's useless. So let's see if I can do better than little kid me now that the stakes are pretty much leveled up from the Game Boy game. Will I die continuously to the genie because for various dumb reasons or will I actually triumph over it? Alright, this is the point where we get bombs too, I just remembered. I don't know if that's good or bad, I literally saw like his animation loop change. And that's- I saw his animation loop change, which should never really happen. Okay, I somehow hit that one. Bottle broke. I took one damage to that boss. It's an improvement for myself in the past. Oh, by the way, this is this is just a funny thing because I'm thinking about back to like some of the uh, chamber stone puzzles that are in that are in the uh, that are in this game. At this point, Nintendo is fully aware of the three heart runs that people like to do with this game. In that there is there is a... There you make a fairly sizable dungeon. And the, the there is a stipulation where you only have three hearts. Anyway. I am out of water, so I need to go get more, so I'll be just a minute. Entertain the people with with weird facts, guy. So chat, I'm gonna pretend he didn't say any of that because I'm really hurt. Huh? Now 
see, that's the Hello? fun thing. I have wireless headphones, so I know you weren't telling the chat anything. <laughs> also, I'm not maybe. that interesting of a person. <laughs> well, of course you are. Also, bad streamer alert. I'm now going to uh, eat a mint. faster to go but the other way through the woods actually And I can get the piece of heart wall in here too. Nice. I beat all of all of those trials by myself. I didn't dodge once. I literally just went. I suppose you can't see me do it into my phone, but yeah, I just did that for about five minutes and then I won. It definitely doesn't help that I have it definitely does not help that I have Halloween Lowen. So I like break the game entirely. Entirely and truly, the game just gets busted. Hello, my good shopkeep. Yes, I do wish to play your stupid game. I also wish to get money out of this in case I goof. Um, actually, thing about that, Nero, is you actually can, you actually can, um, still steal from the guy in this game. And I think it still has the same punishment of your, of your safe, of whatever you name your character getting immediately changed to Thief. And you are stuck with the name Thief for the rest of the game. Oh, she would have hit the wrong button. Well, time to waste those 20 rupees. Eh. It's a, it's a, it could be a rock. It's also a chamber stone. Chamberstone. Oh. 
So here's the stupid thing about this, by the way, for anybody who's playing and trying to get everything. All these collectibles that are here. Oh, I just gotta witness this for a minute. It's getting spun around. Oh, did it stop? Oh, it's done. Uh, these collectibles that you collect, that you get, and put in people's houses, they... There's one locked behind post-game, which is basically after you beat the game is the only time you can get it. Which is Bow Wow, oddly enough. Or, ch or Chomp, if you would rather. And... Once you collect all the all the figures, not when you put place them, when you collect them all, the, uh, at that point, at that point, you get another chamber stone. So, excuse me. You cannot get. Repeat. Cannot. Get all of the, all of the, all the chamber stones in this game until post game. I I, bah, I know. Move. There you go, Madam Meow Meow. You now have your pooch back. I also skipped over Link's face where he blushed. Oops. I'm not gonna try my luck. Um, let's see. So, I mentioned before, two of the secret seashells in the game are up at the fishing hole. I'm gonna wait until after Dungeon 5 to see if that triggers something, because we haven't seen one of the fish in the overworld yet. We haven't seen, well, maybe after Dungeon 5 I should do that, or Dungeon 4 I should say. Because you don't even see one of the fish in the game until you get after Dungeon 4. But the fish that's there... Well, what is it? You catch that fish once, and you get a secret seashell and a chamber stone. You catch it again, hopefully at a larger size, and you get a heart piece. You can and you catch either a cheap cheap or a blooper, which has a random chance of spawning after you've been fishing for a while. Then you'll get the other secret seashell in that fishing hole. It's uh kind of dumb. Also, with shovel and tow, and now power power mitts, I'm gonna go gut the world of its secret seashells that I can access at this point. Hi, buddy. All right, well, I can just jump the pit. So, and they've added a large amount of secret seashells to this game. say I must say in the original game there were only 25 secret seashells there are now 50 in this game One, there was not one down there. Okay. It's weird because it's like Outside of Breath of the Wild, that's the one outlier to to it all. 
Oh no, it's fine. I can just do this. Breath of the Wild is the one outlier to the quote-unquote rule, I'm going to say. But... Of all the Zelda... Well, no, I should say also Four Sword Adventures. But outside of those two console games, the only ga the only Zelda games where you can jump on a whim... Oh, okay. I forgot about Zelda 2. The only console games... The only console games people play are the only... Zelda games that people actually play where you can freely jump are the handheld games. Alright. There, it's fine. Just give me money. Give me money, or I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a motherfucker to beat another motherfucker. And you are motherfucker one. <laughs> Uh, the one time we played Sword, Four Swords Adventures was great. <laughs> I feel like because I pl I played an unhealthy amount of the game, like when it came out, I feel like I I have developed the annoyance strats. Okay, and I unintentionally uncovered Ukuku Prairie. How I'm at eight secret seashells already. Um, brain is short circuiting. Okay, we'll get that seashell when I have to go get her for the fourth dungeon. I think we're free just to go east at this point. I really wish I picked a better spot to start going east at. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we would have we would have to grab Charles because, hit for some reason, my computer doesn't like. Do even though I've got it set up to do so, my computer doesn't like to do the Parsec Game Boy Advance co-op play thing. Charles's computer is a okay with doing it. Anyway, uh, Dompe, are you outside? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Alright, I'm going in your house. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna see. All right, whatever. Yes, I've been through several things, Dompe. Could you make these chamber stones and take these other two other chamber stones I have and make them into better chamber stones? Chamber stone, chamber stone, chamber stone. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? One dungeon. What? One. One construction. I'm really gonna make this like. Oh, sorry, did you say something? Are you feeling it, Mr. Crack? <laughs> like, I'm literally gonna make this as fast as I possibly can. Dungeon building done quick. Sign me up. Shoot, not that one, that one. Listen, if I have to do it, if I have to do it, I'm gonna make it simple as all hell. If somebody else has to do it, I'm sorry. I, I, I no, I, I just, I just can't make it that easy. Damn it! I'm missing the, I'm missing a left turn block. It's fine. I can fix it. 
Wait, that's it. You need to make it the map in the form of a scooter. Fuck. <laughs> See, wait, how the hell? Okay, it's still doable. I just have to, it's just, it just takes extra steps. Boom. Actually, wait, where do the stairs go? Good. Like, if you want me to really quick, I can say, I'll save this. I'll save this and show you some of the later dungeons that they want you to make. I'm not gonna do any of the uh, challenge dungeons they want you to make. Because, god damn it, are they infuriating. Like, I had one where I literally had to rearrange 20 tiles. That was it, just 20 tiles. I just, but I had to sit there and shuffle them around because every single tile, except for the start and the boss's lair, they all had to be... They all had to have stairs on them. Every single tile. And stairs don't work how you think they would in, the, in this engine for dungeon building. Stupid Gamba. Yeah, let me defenseless. Don't do that. But this isn't, this whole uh, dungeon builder isn't terrible to by design. But the only issue with how it works is the last, the last tile, or every chest you make, every chest, or for every locked door you have, the chest, the assigned chest, either, and for how many chests you have. Like I've got three chests and a locked door in this, I think, or two locked doors, I guess. So the third, like, Or maybe I don't. Basically, any excess chests you put into this that are beyond the number of keys you need to complete it will have uh, will have money in it. Anywhere from 1 to 20 rupees. Well, no, 1 to 50 rupees. So like this one, I think this one will have money, and then the next one will have rupees. All the way around. Or this one will have money, and this one, and the next one will have the uh, nightmares key. So it's smart in that you can put extra rupees in there for you to take out of the dungeon when you're done with it onto your main adventure. It's stupid because that makes it so you have to so you have to open every single chest in order to complete a dungeon. Whatever, perish. So, it's smart and stupid at the same time. It's idiotic. No, it's all- no, the dungeon builder is only in this version of the game. I'm gonna plant a bomb in the corner and see if he runs into it. He actually ran into it. I actually blew up the floor. Cause the dungeon builder was like the main was like the thing that was trying that they made. Trying to get like trying to like drag people into playing this game. Oh, I got I got red hard. And also I will say 
I will also say, by the way, for anybody wondering why I'm doing these, he has heart pieces, and at the end of all of his stuff, he has a heart container. Anyway, let me... Wait. Adventure? Oh, go through a dungeon that you already cleared. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, say really quick. And let me just load up. Yeah, let me load up this one. This is my completed file on normal mode. I'm not going to do any of these dungeons, but I am just going to show it off really quick just so you can kind of see the uh, terribleness that await for the super challenges. Like making a dungeon in the shape of a sword and in the shape of a shield. And this one, I hated this one. Making it in the shape of a bow. By the way, can't use swords. This one was fine. This one was fun, just because that time limit was fun to try and race against. This one was simple. This one was simple. This one was oddly chaotic because... Like, I don't know if how well you can see it on the preview here, but you do get four-way- you get do get four-way entrance and exit tile rooms. You also get three-way entrance and exit tiles. But you don't have enough to fill up the that enti the entire map that's not like the gray squares you see there. You don't have quite enough, so you have to get creative with the pieces you place down. But that was still fine. Fuck this one. This one wasn't too bad, just the middle has to be filled with treasure. This one just took forever, both making and clearing, because it's it was big. It's the biggest dungeon you have to make outside of making your own dungeon, and then lull. But yeah, like... You know, I thought for that one they were going to make you do a Triforce. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just the a last set. One. So yeah, like this one, outside of like the free build mode. Oh, by the way, the shapes. The uh, I'm gonna grab me for a second. Hold on, you might. Oh, did I lock my window? I did. Wrong one. So, go me. I am expert. So, this right here, this area right here. And this one over here, these uh, borders right here, mean that those are set there from the start and you have to build around it. These ones, the ones here with the white borders, I was able to set up on my own. Or they wanted me to set up my own. So I made, you know, I made it all as you can see here. Anyway, let's load up a game. Let's load back into our proper game. Also, just checking up on things in case people are messaging me about stuff. Hello. Okay. Now that I've addressed all that, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the other one he's got here. Arrange. So 
So I'm going to just make this one again. I'm just going to make a very simple one as simple as I can. Anyway, entrance, uh, ending. Please tell me there's a, there's not. Of course there isn't. Oh, I have some three-way rooms. Nice. All right. I had to look for a minute to find the room that would work. So I need... I'm not going to fight the Hinox. I'm just going to... Oh, wait. I need something with a treasure. Peck. said the word. Darling. Uh. No, unfortunately, Nero, no. Different, different kind of peck. Ah, shoot, I have to make... There. That works for my brilliant plan. That's not so brilliant. I don't know what what my brilliant plan was, to be honest with you. I thought I had one. Also, if I do that, I can't beat the I can't beat this dungeon, so I have to make a two-way room that has a treasure chest in it. Uh, let's just make it a simple room over here. Another simple room here. A straight shot to the boss, and we're done. God damn it, not, uh, now I got a hat and time on the brain. So, darling, what do you like to have on your sandwiches? Pick! <laughs> darling! <Whoa. laughs> well, isn't she just a tenacious little rascal? Get out of here before, before you can us both! <laughs> I really, it's kind of great though that they really just went whole ham on it when they realized people liked the fact that the people were really digging the whole fact that Peck was the, uh, was a curse word in that world. <laughs> and then they just put it on the emote wheel. Oh, that's great. Now you can Peck at anybody, anytime. Which that's amazing, which that's surprising. Um, for context of this conversation, I've been wa I have been watching uh, Ralco play Hat in Time. Oh dear. And he uh, he uh, when he panics, he clicks in the thumbstick, which will bring up the emote wheel. On his, obviously. <laughs> I guess so, that happens a lot. So, but he hasn't changed any of his stickers, so he always so he's got so he always like whenever he does like whether he dies whether he's dying or not. He'll just he'll just zip over to cat crime. <laughs> Can't cry. I feel like that would be something he'd do. But it took him about ten or twelve episodes of him doing that before he realized before he went, wait, how did I not see this one on here? And then he found Peck. Hey kids, you want to do crime? <laughs> oh, that actually... 
So why does the dungeon maker have hearts that spawn, huh? Wait, un... Yeah. Moldorm, calm down. I just touched your butt. Careful, don't, you don't get angry. Me. Yeah. Although, although Nero bringing up uh, Dragon Ball Z a bridge, um, I follow on Twitter. I follow Lanny. I follow Takahata. I think that's it, more or less. Oh, no, I follow Kieran too. I had to think of his name. Like I follow all three of them, and uh, Kieran and Takahata have been going off for a while today because uh, the good place ended last night. Like the entire series, they capped it off. You know, series finale last night, and people are in tears and shambles, saying it's probably the best show they've seen ever in their life. And those two have been adding to it all, and been saying, have been saying, like, have been saying, you know, the uh, the good place ended when it should have, and le left in nothing else. Oh, I didn't get the other war point. Damn it! They left it off at a good spot. And it's it's perfect as is. And then they're and then they're both like eyes up Dragon Ball Z abridged episode sixty. So I really do think like Dragon Ball Z abridged, like the format that we've seen a lot as it's gone on through the years, I think I think the end of the Cell Saga, that's the end of, that's like the end of everything for that, for what they want to do when they're like repurposing clips from the show and dubbing over it. Because they've gotten in so much legal issue with doing that over the years that I think they're tired of doing that. So, but they have said the like, but the, also the follow up, because people were asking questions, they said, basically going forward from this point, we're gonna, we're, we're still gonna, we still might dabble in the Boo arc, uh, the Boo, all the Boo stuff. But it's not gonna be like it. It's not gonna be like it was with, or we're not gonna like do the same way we did things when we were doing everything else up to this point. Like going forward, if we do anything else, we're gonna we're gonna do it more in the style of what we're doing with our of our of our uh, the shorts. That's what it is. They're gonna try and do like. They're gonna do all the scenes, but they're gonna have like people, you know, animate what they want exactly in house. So they can still have all the settings and everything, but they're gonna do the hard work from the ground up. So that way, no, nobody can come along and go, "Oh yeah, that's our intellectual property." Lol. Yeah, the Cell Game shorts, which Double Artemis is animating, but I th I would think more like I would think more akin to um, the short they had just recently for the uh, basically th th them being the only people to cover what was it like when uh, Go when Goten w was born, the midwife crisis little skit they had. Please give me the please give me the medicine. Thank you. So yeah, they're still gonna do they're, they're still gonna do stuff with the with Dragon Ball and still and still make like their and make their skits and everything. But they're gonna do it from they're gonna do it from the ground up with 3D animation. So nothing can so nobody can go that's mine. Because they actually have ins with Toei Animation, and Toei Animation is cool with them doing it for the most part. But it's basically every other company and every other animation studio that's coming along trying to snipe up the, those sweet those sweet revenues. And oh, YouTube refusing to do anything proper about it. Right. Because it's like. 
for them it's almost like a buy it's almost like a semi-weekly thing where they get a false copyright claim on every single one of their DBZ abridged videos and they have to sit there and fight and fight through the weirdness of YouTube system and I think it like the okay as well from uh, to the Toei Animation Studio as well. Anyway, I gotta remember, is this the one we can do now or no? Well, yeah, that's what happens every year in January. By the way, giving you a little peek behind the curtain to those of us that make that make content for those of you that don't make content on YouTube. Um, every year in January is like is basically when uh, everything lapses in a sense when it comes to like licensing and all that stuff. So people in comp a lot of people in companies also thank God the fairies spawn in here. A lot of companies, a lot of MCNs or multi-channel networks basically will swoop in and try and claim as much as they can thinking that people aren't going to pay attention, especially the shadier MCNs. So every January, all, all of us have to basically have to like go out, go and fight a miniature war with these people saying, no, 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 no. This clip I produced back into this thing I produced back in 2008 is not the same as this clip in a totally different language that came out in 2017. And to, on the other side of that, on the other side of that, it does also happen where, oh, secret seashell house. I need to go do that quick. Um, on the other side, on the other side of all that is, on the other side of that is YouTube does have a does have a thing set up where, like, it will attempt to automatically find and track, like, it will find clips of things that people have done. And say, hey, this this uh this short here or this clip that somebody put together, it uses a lot of the same footage you you, you used in your video. Do you want to do anything about it? And it pushes that out to every creator at the start of every year. It pushes out that notice of like, hey, there's this tab here. You can go see if what somebody else has put up on YouTube matches with what you've done. And I've gone through it. I've gone through it and I've looked through most of the stuff and oddly enough a lot of the stuff that I uh that I find infringes on what I put together is oddly enough from from my from when I did Sonic uh Sonic Unleashed there's a uh there's there's Spanish dubs of all the cutscenes that are up, uh, somebody's put together up there like uh, basically a fan dub that, that people did in Spanish. And what a reason, like, I got every single one of those videos were clouding up my related videos or the videos that, were, like, matched their, those specifications. But I didn't do anything about it. I just, I let it go. Or as much as I could because it won't let you delete those notifications. But I say it's good in that sense because long time ago, back before like the community that we that well oddly enough, oddly enough, uh, the long run me and Gaia share, um, and knowing Slim Kirby, I used to just hang out with him on a semi regular basis, and we were just hanging out in a call one night, and we saw that some guy was taking his videos and re uploading them. And he start and you know we start catching on to that and start calling that person out. But we had to find those videos the hard way. But we caught that when we caught on the guy caught on what he was doing, start calling him out. So then he starts putting a rate he starts like he starts doing stuff like slowing the video down to 75% or whatnot. And this was right when YouTube introduced like the uh, adjustable play playback rate function. 
So we caught on to we caught on to them again. And he tried just putting a rainbow filter over it. Eventually this kept happening to the point where I think Slim had to end up going to like trying to contact someone at YouTube directly and say, hey, there are users out there directly taking my content without my permission and re-uploading it. And it's coming from a couple of these sources right here. And I think that I think that happening to so many people triggered something where YouTube now has that feature built in and, and like about once at, once every year does the hey by the way um would you like to dang it it's around here there it is does the whole hey this this guy's content is very similar to yours would you like would you like to push back against it so that's what i think that's what triggers a lot of these bots from multi-channel networks to go back through and claim as much as they can if anything matches I mean, I did actually have that system that they put in place benefit me a couple of months ago. Yeah. Because, like, I kind of, uh, like, well, uh, lately they've been putting, like, active alerts, like, notifications on your channel. So, like, if that's actually happening. And um, I looked through it the other day and it was, like, the worst any of them were, like, was, like, 40% on, like, a Four Swords Adventures video. And just, like, me. But, um... A couple of months ago, I actually stumbled across the page by accident. I didn't even know it existed. And I found that there was this really small YouTube channel that just straight up uploaded complete videos from various projects, especially Full Source for some reason. And I basically just rapid fired the responses out. I was like, yeah, please take this down. Yeah, please take this down, blah, blah, blah. And they're actually all gone now. Like I actually double checked on it like maybe two weeks ago. So it's actually kind of nice. Yeah, so it's nice. Like if it's if it's actual people doing it, the system helps and it works out really well. But what? But unfortunately, multi-channel networks have are kind of doing the root one good one good rooting one good thing for everybody else. Do I have fifteen? I have fifteen. I gotta go back to the secret jail house. It would basically be. I'm not trying to, forgive me if, if I sound like I'm being, you know, condescending to you in there. I'm not trying to be, but like, the equivalent would be if you uploaded stuff to DeviantArt and DeviantArt was, DeviantArt finds an artist that is literally taking your pictures and re-uploading it to their own page and claiming it as their own work. That's effectively what this is doing. And anyway, I wanted that tracker, that that tuning fork so bad because I will forget where stuff is. I have already, I have already left one secret seashell behind. I still remember back in the day, like back when my channel was fairly new. Someone actually tried stealing my uh, channel icon, and just like the whole kitten caboodle. I basically had to threaten them in order to get them to stop. <laughs> I, um, of course, I'm, I'm personally not going to find that kind of person looking by my name because, like, th nobody will ever re-upload something and just use a person's name as in, in their video. Like, I will say, like, the only offender of it, the only offender that I found of it was, um, only Toklef, to or however his name was pronounced. Um, but that, but it was on videos that he, a he asked me if he could re-upload them to his channel. I said yes, and I just ignored those. That's the only instance where it ever happened where it's just like point for point, the exact same video. I still remember the one time when, um, I think it was either Wikipedia or Wikipedia page felt they could screen from Lucky's Hard Gold. Let's <laughs> play made it into the thing. Oh yeah, I remember that. He, <laughs> he did he did something that nobody had ever had video evidence of being done. It was the uh, I think it was either the Max Friendship or the uh, Max Achievement. Completed with Pokedex, one... I think. I thought or, it was like I don't know, yeah. It was basically like achieving the best possible outcome in the battle tower, I think, with one single Pokemon. Uh. 
And he yeah, was the only one, like small, right? Yeah, and he was the yeah, and Lucky was the only one that had that like that documented. So, Bullpita took his screenshot and used it as an example on their page about it, about the battle tower and everything you can get in it. And Lucky had to contact them and say, "Hey, uh, that's mine. Can I at least get a little?" Well, credit? no, I. Yeah, I think he did that, and I think that actually happened in one other instance as well, like one of the Digino Gaming videos, like there was like a brief two or three seconds when they were doing a Pokemon skit. Or skit, but I think, if I'm remembering things correctly. Yeah, I think uh, I think Lucky have, was in that too. I want to say they did at least credit him, because I checked. Yeah, they did, yeah. Eventually, but... I can't remember if they like had to re-upload it though to get the uh, attribution correctly or not. Mm -hmm. Too long ago. All oh, I know, oh, man, God. is all I know, man, is if I'm, is if for whatever reason they do a digital gaming at Sonic Unleashed and I recognize my clip, I you best believe I'm gonna be firing off several emails towards digital gaming. Just like Chibi Ro, like oh, I got you fuckers now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If they do ever do like Chibi Robo, which um, I want to say, that I don't think they uh, used any of your footage from what I know of. Oh. But they did Probably do not. like a they they did do like a GameCube hardware thing, and Chibi Robo was featured there several times. Hmm. I would say if I do videos, but half the time those videos get copyright stricken alone, so I doubt that anyone's going to be doing anything like that anytime soon. Uh. Oh, I'm <laughs> just getting to the regular sidetrack, though. Like, I'm looking forward to making uh, videos for the next patch of 14, just because they're introducing a character called Gaia. <laughs> Anyone want to take bets on how quickly it takes for me to get fucked up? Introducing a character named Gaia. This is Final Fantasy, where they have no problems killing off a character. Oh. oh no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant like someone's gonna be talking about Guy and I'm going to like, hey, what? What? What's going oh. on here? Why are you mentioning me? <laughs> You're like, no, we're not mentioning you. I'm mentioning the character. Fuck. <laughs> no, like, the, well, I like n oddly enough when we when uh, me, Sarah, and Wolf were doing the Borderlands one. You know, every time like it was as a bit too, but there were a couple times where like got to go back to scooter. It's like what what I do. <laughs> no, 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 catch a ride. Oh, okay. See, like, this is why I purposely named my character Autumn in the game, and now, like, they're actually naming a character after my YouTube profile. I'm just like, oh, God, help me. <laughs> oh, God, end me. Like, God forbid they ever actually add a character called Autumn. That's gonna really mess with me. <laughs> I came close. I think they may have had a reference or two in one particular trial fight, but nothing serious. All I know is like, all I know is just going forward, <laughs> going forward, playing Borderlands. It from this point forward, well, at this point in the storyline forward, they can't reference Scooter unless it's like he pat, unless they're saying he passed. Oh yeah, he died, didn't he? Like during the Tales of the Borderlands series. Yeah. I don't know as how he dies. I just know that he does die. Which is kind of fucked up. <laughs> How else will I catch a ride? Eh, Ellie took over. No. Don't worry, she's she's good about it. She'll help you get you one. I. <laughs> are you playing Portland History? Not yet. I'm uh I'm being one of those people that's waiting until it hits Steam. Same. Be, Which I'm, I want to say that's gonna happen in the, in the next like two weeks here. Oh, isn't gonna be that soon? I mean, I've heard like nothing about it. Anyone talks about Wonderland Three, it's usually talking about balancing and subsequently bitching about it. Because I want to say, um, I want to say Borderlands Three. I want to say Borderlands Three came out September 9th on on uh, Epic. God, has it been September? Jesus. Look here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a calendar app really quick. Hold on, after I get out of Dragalia because that's the last thing I did before I started the stream today. I really haven't been playing Dragalia more. I've just been too busy with other things. That's fine. Let's see. So let's see. So yeah, September 9th. 
Or was it September 13th? It would have been a Friday. So September 13th, it came out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's going to be a month and a week yet still. Sorry. But Epic basically has a six-month exclusivity deal on Borderlands 3. I heard money. I mean, I'm just kind of bracing myself at this point. March is going to freaking suck. Yeah, Because so now we got... I don't know about Doom. I still need to play through the original game, and I've not grown up on Doom. But at the very least, Animal Crossing has come out, and now the Grand Blue fighting game is confirmed to come out in March, so... <laughs> oh yeah, Grand Blue Versus is happening. I mean, it's happening in Japan in... five days? Four days? Nah. But yeah, like, oh my god, that's gonna kill me. It's actually gonna kill me. Dibs on potato. If you can have the potato. <laughs> oh, uh, I meant to put on the powder. Powder! Shit. Powder! Shit. I'm still debating between Catalina, Ladiva, and honestly, Zeta. Zeta's cool. Fuck. It also helps that Grand Blue had a story event recently that's also involved Fazaraga and Zeta again. So. Yeah, there's another ser there's another server I'm in where they've been talking about that a lot in their uh, mobile games chat. Which do I have a ping? Okay. There's been one person. There's been one person in there who, after a lot of us like talking about Dragalia off and on, has mm -hmm. finally picked has finally picked it up. Damn it! I died. Oh no! Wait. That's not a death. Though I now have to get more medicine. Um. But yeah, like because of because I you know I when I talk about something like I am right now I ramble on forever and always. If I if it's a, something I'm passionate about, I ramble on without pause. So I filled up like, like with Discord, like this screen here, like here, I'll just, just for example's sake, let me pull up a Discord and let me go to, let me just pull up my Discord. Sure, that works. So like, this is how my Discord set up. It takes up about half of my, about half of my, uh, half my desktop here on, on my second monitor. And I just filled up like I basically filled up like hold on let me grab me again I basically filled up from where this YouTube video is up to about here talking about Dragali with somebody who had questions and now they ping me like every time they have any kind of question they ping they ping me specifically in that server <laughs> twist and uh plot twist by the way it's uh it's Lethero's sub discord so I get pinged in Lee's di discord it's like oh fuck what I do <laughs> I didn't do it, I swear. <laughs> Please don't stunk me! This is not the Goku you are looking for. <laughs> oh no. Although, speaking of Gokus and dunking them, appar apparently people are, uh... Apparently, it's being confirmed that uh, Ultra Instinct Goku is being added as a Season 3 for fighters. Scooter was too fresh in that Discord. Hey. And yes. is it bad that like I'm hyped for Ultra Instinct Goku in the same way that I was hyped for Billith with Smash in the sense that we are going to get some freaking banger music now? <laughs> I don't know if Ultimate Fight is going to be the song Goku gets. It might be. It is not. I'm going to be really upset. I have feeling <laughs> it's going to be. I have feeling it's going to be an original composition. I mean, as long as it's like the same tune, I, mean, I don't really care. Hold that. Ow. There's a good chance I die here.
I had a fairy, by the way. I just remembered. Oh, the fairy doesn't automatically pop? Nope, not so. in this game. You can get them, ah. they, but they act like red potions. Oh. Uh, that's... Ow. Hold that. Hold that, too. On the plus side, how many more Gokus could you pull at this stage? Oh, I didn't use that. Dang it. Also, I was, uh, also on topic of Goku's and Lee's server. I was, uh, I was playing Smash er, today because somebody had was because uh, somebody or uh, God, what's what is his what are his numbers? Jughead eight six nine, I think it's what it is. He he uh he just plays Smash and then he'll and if something funny happens in in a Smash match, he'll grab it and he'll just make a clip compilation. No audio over, just whatever happened in the match happened. Which I really hope we there's one clip that happened in the match we had in there today. I hope it appears in this next one. But um, I was in there just hanging out with somebody, and we started. There was one point we started bouncing back and forth the. Uh, we started bouncing back and forth the some of the uh, fighters lobby shenanigans bits. <laughs> you mean our favorite test? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like, we were just going along, all of a sudden he just goes, Dynamarchius! <laughs> so me, being me, and having ha my memory, remembering quips like that instead of things I should actually remember, just re just re retorted back, Dynamarchius attack! Mm. Oh. Let's just stop being a bitch and actually start covering this. Ah! <laughs> start doing what? Um. Trying to find the best way to describe this. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to hurt. And I'm working on something that's like a gift to a friend. Ah. Uh. And by gift, I mean like I'm loosely tracing one part and then just kind of. <laughs> like there's a picture of Fire Emblem involving Philip and uh, what's his face? Uh, shit, what is his name? Seth. Uh, Isn't that picture you like so much, where it's where it's Byleth peering over Seth's shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I like that picture so much. It's so dumb. It's probably because of the angle that, that's on Byleth that makes it just that just makes it like the, look like that. I heard you was talking shit. Like, <laughs> or just like she's just curious, she's like, what's going on? Just, like, it, it's like the kind of thing where like Seth is like the adult, and like, you just see the child just like peering over, like, hey, what's going on? Hey, old fam, what's up? I have to say, learning how to do digital art is so much more pleasant than learning how to do traditional. It's so much. Cleaner. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't art very well. Like the pictures in my head, but it will not translate to my hand. And yeah. I know the only way I'm going to get past that is if I actually sit there and do more of it. But I, I don't like this uh, drawing tablet or in Black Friday and a good program. And well, in fairness, I haven't really started doing anything with it until fairly recently, but. I don't know if I actually put it in Lucky's Discord, but I actually did draw something that I'm actually mildly proud of. I did put it on Twitter, I know that. Yeah, I drew... It was 14 related. <laughs> like, it's not a drawing tablet. I've got it over here. It's not an actual drawing tablet, but I mean, I have... I I got it from our company store. It is it is a tablet. It's like a general purpose, mm -hmm. a multimedia browsing tablet. Yeah, like an iPad. Yeah, it's basically an iPad, but it's RCA, so it's bootleg. 
Wait, does it have the screen on there, or is it like, it's, it's literally like a tablet where you tap it and it controls the mouse on the screen? Uh, no, it's, well, it's got the, uh, oh, let me grab it again. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to charge it to show it off, actually, but it's one of those ones where it's actually, a, it's actually like a tablet, but it's got a keyboard on it. So, but it can detach. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I saw a lot of those things when I was in medical school. They are very handy. But like, so I like, didn't have one myself, but like, I wish I had one of those rubber tip styluses so I could actually use that to draw with. But I did like use my finger and do a, be a drawing on there, and I ended up deleting it because I didn't like how it looked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, 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 I consider this like one of the things I'm trying to. Like, I've had this as like a New Year's resolution for like two or three years now, and I'm finally trying to actually do something about it, especially while I have the time, because job searching is. Yeah. yeah. Well, I might get. Well, once I get caught up to where I feel comfortable, maybe I'll. Maybe we can. Maybe I can suffer with you. Suffer together, so to say. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm now in that point where I've. I'm now in that point again where I've got like a couple months where I've got, I've now got like a month and a half where I've got nothing going on. I've been laid off due to lack of work for my job, so this yeah. is where I am. I mean, like I, I'm also partly doing this just for the sake of money as well, because like I I don't know if you've been paying attention to my Twitter, but like I've commissioned a healthy amount of things, and I'd like to be able to <laughs> save a little bit. That being said, once I get a job and um, I start getting paychecks again, oh god, help me. <laughs> Here I go commissioning again. Here I go commissioning art again. Guy I know, guy yes. Actually, that is a thing. That There is one idea I've had in my head, and that was a theoretical flying type gym leader for Sword and Shield. Which is basically just you know you know how I was basically able to create myself as an avatar in that game, right? <laughs> I believe so. A lot of people were able to. Me not so me and I couldn't recreate myself because there's no beard option for the dudes. Yeah. And obviously so because the male avatar is like effectively fourteen. Yeah. But like um my idea was basically taking the uniform, putting the same gray jacket that I have over it, and then getting one of those aviator helm well I I don't know if you call those helmets, I think they're more hats. Yeah, I don't know what you even call those things properly. Uh it's an aviator's cap. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like I, I, there's actually a version of that in fourteen, and I could probably ring it up if I looked hard enough. Actually I could probably bring it up on Garland tools and just Damn. Oh, shoo, ho, ho, ho. Damn it, I did it. I was about to say, haha, I didn't take the damage, but then I took the damage. Oh shit, they don't call it aviator. <laughs> no, they probably call it uh, like, uh, expedition. Yeah, oh, here we go, it. expedition flyers. Hell yeah, I did it. <laughs> Let's say they probably call it something dumb. It is Final Fantasy after all. I mean, yeah. there was also like a series of content where you fly off to a giant, like, kind of floating island and get resources out of it. Uh, what's the best way to pull the image? Yeah, that works. Let me see if Discord will cooperate. And you are pretty far down. Me? Yeah, there you go. I would say there's a search. There's not a search bar. On the on that private conversations tab. KO this son of a bitch again. Oh my god, I actually knocked him in the pit. I'm amazing. Uh, look, he, I'm a god. Yeah, I might want to finish this though. I'll do coloring tomorrow. <laughs> Pretty good. I don't mean to do this more, but like this past week has been just utterly exhausting. Like I had like five interviews in the span of three days. 
Do more. Three of them in one day. Those two of them are foam, in fairness. Damn it. Speaking of which, I really do hope that uh, one particular one gets back to me next week, because if that actually ends up happening, holy shit. I, uh, like, my job here is, the job that I just got done talking, like, I just got done talking about, like, they really want to keep me on, they really want to pull me on full time at the company, but they can't because, the, because they only have so many slots for it, so I'm regularly the seasonal, even though I, let's see, there are, it's easier for me to list the things I can't do in the building than for me to list things I can do in the building. I think I've rambled on about this before. Ooh. And, oh, excuse me, but the people they've got on there that are like on their uh, quote unquote full time employees list, they're kind of, most of them are just barely shy of functional, we'll say. <laughs> oh, like, that's so the polite way to say they're dumbass. They're pretty dumb and they can only do one to two, to two jobs. Or they're incredibly lazy, or they're intelligent and they can do stuff, but they, but, and this is no, I'm not throwing shade on people who have this issue. I understand speaking English is a big problem. English is not easy, but we have people who are intelligent, can do multiple jobs, but are lazy and use the excuse that they can't speak English as a front as to why, the, as, as, as a front so they don't get called out on not being able to do a job. Or they're not very good mm -hmm. at speaking English, rather. I mean, you can just say they're lazy. <laughs> no, because, like, there are some people that, like, I, I've seen the work. And there are, they go through, like, periods where it's just, like, work like, work like a bat out of hell, work like a bat out of hell. Oh. We're done? Okay. Or, or it's just, and then like the next next couple days they come and it's just like, okay, well, uh, I'm done trying now. I'm done trying now. Mm -hmm. Um. But anyway, but back on track here. So. Um, there's a, uh, oddly enough where we had to close down one of the, uh, one of the other plants for our facility, there's an Amazon opening here in the next couple of months. So I've been thinking it's about the same work I do already. Maybe I should apply that, maybe I should apply for a job there. Because it would be literally the same travel time. I wouldn't have to go down as many back roads to get where to where I got to go anyway. Yada yada, so on and so forth. Honestly, that was one, probably one of the bigger reasons why I took this other, like, a recent job. Just because, like, it was like, mm, so I could try for an hour one way, or I can try for maybe an hour round trip. Hmm. <laughs> That's just me traffic got really shitty. I drive about 40 minutes one way to go to work now, and it kind of sucked initially when I started doing it, but now I've just gotten used to it, and it, it's actually rather... Bob, where are you going? <laughs> I'm a, I, I, I'm about a hair. Out. Um, but like, to, for me to get to work to where I go to get to work now, like I go down, I go down a major highway, and I guess it won't hurt for me to say the highway. It's there's there's a lot of road on this one highway, so I won't I won't dox myself by saying it. Um, there's a highway here, Highway 51, that I take, but at some point I veer off of it to go into a small city. Why did I, I, I pulled back on the jump. I veer off on that road at one point to go through a small city to go down a small county, uh, county road. And, uh, when I get through, or... When I hit that county road, I 
Uh, or I hit the county road, and that's like one of the more dangerous roads to turn onto another county road. That road's not as dangerous, but nonetheless, it's winter. You know, in winter, if those roads are covered over, I can't really go to work because the roads are covered over. Mm -hmm. With snow. I should clarify with snow. Far, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, but if I were to get a job, if I were to apply, actually get off my ass and apply for a job at Amazon, I would literally take Highway 51 from my house all the way to like to like a single turn before where the Amazon would be. Mm. Basically, a road that will be maintained almost constantly. Oh yeah, a road that is maintained. Very a lot of or very a lot because there's gonna be a lot of traffic on it because and it's a more major highway without it having more than one without it with it having only uh, two lanes total on it you know one one going one this way one that way but it's still maintained really well because it connects a lot of smaller cities to the capital city. Ooh. So, I'm really hoping this one, like there are, I don't really know how I'm doing on the job situation right now, but there's one that has, like I had an interview on Wednesday and it seemed to go pretty well and they haven't gone back to me yet. And then there's, there was an interview that I had on Tuesday that like they went to the next step where like, hey, can you go ahead and send your application into HR? And um, if that second one ends up going well, then that would be really great because part of what's tricky for my next job is that wherever my next job ends up being is likely where I'm going to be getting an apartment. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. And um, this was like downtown, which is only like Ooh. maybe... Well, no, that's not a bad thing because there's like an expressway that starts like really close to where my town is and it's like maybe a 30 minute drive. Oh, no, I was more or less thinking it's it might be bad because downtown, if you look for an apartment downtown, it's usually... Oh, no, 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 I am not getting an apartment downtown. Fuck okay. that no. Okay, <laughs> like, yeah. Apartments like, downtown like, I have already sketchy looked as hell. At, I have already looked at apartments in my area and, like, the town and major... Uh, I guess major towns I live next to. Like, we're talking... Like two room, a uh, two bedroom, uh, is like maybe. What was the number? I think it was like twelve hundred, maybe like a month or something. Like at most twelve hundred a month. Okay. Downtown is easily double. Yeah, that's why I was. That's why I was like giving you easily, that. and that's just, and that's not even a two room thing. That's like literally like one bedroom apartments, like at least twenty four hundred. Yeah, that's why I went ooh e because <laughs> like no 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 like, it's funny too because like this the the question of apartment came up at one point during my recent position and like uh, uh, like the main supervisor like one of the main supervisors there he was like oh just just get an apartment in downtown Tampa like there's plenty of things here and I'm just like three thousand dollars <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> Like, I was finding apartments near where I live, like $900, $1,000 a month, and I was just like, oh, just come down here, 30000 Yeah! No. Yeah, that's no. a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's, but yeah, that's why I said, because, like, downtown's nice. Okay, downtown's nice because it puts you that much closer to your work, and nine times out of ten, you don't, uh, you won't end up, you'll end up, like, Depending on how close you get to work, you could literally walk to work, and it will save you thirty bucks a week or whatever it is on gas. But then again, it's also expensive as hell, and it's also downtown. <laughs> you know, not ha not a lot of happy things that happen downtown, so to say. I mean. I don't know. I don't like. Yeah, it'd be convenient, but I don't think I would ever 
I'm down now. Like, I prefer stealth urban areas. Like, even if it does mean a bit of driving. Which I hate, but... I mean. uh, well, it could be better than what I've dealt with, because... Um... Because when I was still living with my parents, uh, if it was if it was ever raining or dark, when I whenever it was raining or dark, when when I had to go to work and I do go to the same place, I do work the same place my mother does. So, whatever. Um, if it was ever raining or snowing or too dark in the day to go to go to uh, when we go to, when it went to work, I had to drive to work. Which, whatever, that's not an issue, but at that time when I didn't have my CPAP and I was, you know, not getting a good night's sleep most nights, that's... Oh, well, Luigi Girl, thank you for the bits. Um, that's somebody who is borderline narcoleptic, damn it, borderline narcoleptic at the wheel at that time of day. Which, that time of day being 6.30 in the morning? When normally the same person used to go to bed at 4 in the morning and then had to completely change their internal clock on a, on a dime to have an actual job? Anyway, I think I got off track on the whole thing. <laughs> dead good all right cool third third temple done not not in the double digits yet only nine deaths yay that's a three deaths of them <laughs> most of those are probably because of the fact that i've just i'm just trying to face tank everything and i need to remind myself no 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 everything is a whole heart damage now scooter not a half heart <laughs> <laughs> or running the defense armor a quarter of a heart of damage. Yeah, speaking of a, speaking of diseases, okay. Speaking of diseases and the fact that, that we that I brought up Amazon of all things. I gotta wonder, like the whole quote the uh, coronavirus that's happening. I gotta wonder if like some of the stuff that's going on with that that okay. I'm going to keep this up just so I don't forget. I got to wonder if, like, because apparently there is now reports of the coronavirus in New York. So, take that with a grain of salt. I got to wonder if, like, some of, uh, some of the, like, the remnants of the coronavirus getting in are th because it started in California, apparently. Well, that strengthens what I'm about to say. Um... I wonder if that's happening because a lot of stuff gets shipped over here from China, and the people and how it gets and and you know whatever you want to say about the general health of people in China, that's all you. Um, but like people are that's being shipped from China, that's coming into America. Then people in America who probably aren't careful with how they handle stuff that they know is from China are just taking that all in. But there's also the other side of that just not to freak people out that I gotta keep on this tangent. I'll, I'll, the game's gonna be pausing me while I talk about this. There are known ways to fight it. Oddly enough, alcohol is the way to fight it. <laughs> So, you know, someone was joking in a Discord earlier today about accidentally drinking rubbing alcohol. I thought they were 
<laughs> Joking. <laughs> is it really like I know it's not regarding alcohol, but <laughs> yeah, like like just like dr drinking like booze or yeah. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. So the cut and dry booze booze helps in killing off the coronavirus along with traditional medical practices. Um, yeah, I know there's been a concern about like people traveling in general, which is always kind of an issue. Yeah. But then there's yeah. the other thing with it in where the thing with the coronavirus is that the, that the media is blowing out that the media is leaving out to like make a mass state of panic, you know, how they how news outlets get their views nowadays. It's similar to the flu, effectively. If you I mean, know yeah, the signs flu, and treat it, if you know the signs and treat it immediately, it goes away in about a week. If you're if you've been infected by it. Yeah, like I don't know, all that bird flu stuff that we had a couple of years ago. People are just still really iffy about it. Like they're waiting for that one disease that's just like, oh, it's gonna kill us all. Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Yeah, basically. Um. Anyway. Same shit, different name. Yeah. Um, but, okay. So, this hat you put in here, I realize this hat you put in here, and, uh, excuse me for a minute, I pull it up in browser so I can educate the, gla the class as well. So this hat you were talking about, is it? Are you gonna be mad at me if I tell you this is exactly the hat that the? Uh, I gotta look for the name. Where? Why? Okay, I don't play Monster Hunter. This is why it's a bad thing. The uh, the small cat creatures. In which game? In Monster Hunter. Oh, Palicos? Yeah, that's ba that looks like the hat that the Palicos are wearing in, in uh, Iceborne. <laughs> like, to a T. I kind of believe it. But, um, anyway. Man, don't you... Isn't it great what... Isn't it great when people bounce ideas off me and I'm... So I'm not just talking about the game and I actually spout random bullshit about things I might know instead of things that I know and are boring for people who already know what's going on? Uh... I'm being mean to myself, more or less. A conversation starter, I am not. Hmm. You know, I really ought to get back to Moss on her. <laughs> yeah, especially because I played it seriously like one weekend and then like I just yet to touch it again. Just got to I just not not been much of a mood to play other things again. Just upsetting. Yeah. I've been in that funk for a little bit, a couple a couple months here. Like outside of what I do recording for projects, I just haven't played anything. Okay, I should say kind of. It's kind of like that. I, I have been. I have been at least. Uh, I have like you know, for you for you guys here on Twitch. I mean, I did play Indivisible, which is something I needed to, vi to finish, and a couple other games. So I've been slowly going through what little backlog I have. But like, as a uh, my own personal, my own me time games, because apparently that's now a subcategory people have who stream and or produce stuff for YouTube. Like, there's games that I should have for me time, like namely Luigi's Mansion. I haven't touched the game because I just have had no drive to. Yeah, like, I don't want to get anything um, until I do more stuff with either Monster Hunter or Hades or both, really. That being said, I really do like Hades. It's just like... I tried playing it earlier today, and it was, I was just in a bad mood, so I was just like, eh, I'll just do one run and be done with it. Which is strange, because, like, you know, for a while, like, I would, even if I was in a bad mood, I could still sit down with, like, TF2, and I could play it whether I was in a good mood or a bad mood. 
But now, like, not so many people play TF2 and whatever multiplayer game is out there. Like, basically any multiplayer game that's like that that I can kind of latch on to, it seems like people dive off of that boat and then I just can't play the game without buying the uh, sweaty tryhards and who will make me want to stop playing within, like, half an hour. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, Lost Hunter is even worse for me. That game gets really lonely to me. I feel like it'd be lonely for me because I don't have a PlayStation 4, so I have to go. Oh, I mean, PC. I play on PC. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but, I Iceborne did just come out like last week for PC. Well, it, two or three weeks now at this point, but. I actually, I actually know exactly when, because, like, I did get it, like, um... Oh, what the fuck happened to me? You just split, you exploded it, 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 it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> God damn it. Why do you have a hard piece here? You know it's my, uh, you know it's my Vex. But, um, but speaking like, but going back to the little job thing, the other thing that I've been, that I probably should might get myself, nice, something else I should probably get myself onto now that I have this free time to do it is I should, I should try and find like, even if it's just a one-time gig, I should try and find editing jobs. Cause like, yeah, like I, I work in a suite that not everybody knows. And that's my own fault, <clears throat> but I should see if I can pick up any editing gig editing gigs for people. Damn it. But again, that that links back to me to stop being lazy and actually look for jobs and other things of that sort. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. But also the other thing is I have no idea where to even start looking for editing jobs. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I I would advertise that, but like I, I feel like I don't even go so seriously to my own videos. So I'm just like mm. Well I don't go ser I don't go <laughs> damn it. I don't even go super seriously in my own videos. But it's the other thing of like everybody wants you to know uh, Adobe Adobe Suite now. Ew, <laughs> why Adobe? Uh, whatever. What do they call it now? Adobe Edit? Or I don't even know what it's called anymore. The Adobe Suite for editing videos. Uh, I don't know what it does for. Uh videos. I didn't even know Adobe even had a video editing program. I know they have stuff like Photoshop, but... Yeah. That's the main thing. Adobe has a video editing program and, and people who are hiring for editors want people to know that program. Which, to their benefit, yeah, that's that's fine because that's, that is oddly a, a very sophisticated program. I've seen it in action. I know, but I mean, like, just, why Adobe? Like... Why not Sony Vegas or shit like that? Like, at least have something that isn't cancerous with subscriptions. <laughs> it's a branding thing. I guess. I mean, I'm saying Sony Vegas because that's the one I use, but I mean, like, just even stuff like Shadowplay or whatever. Just... Or maybe that's it. Is that it? Shadowplay? <laughs> Shadowplay is, is uh, NVIDIA's quick capture tool oh. thing. Okay, never mind then. Because so, I know that's come up with uh, one or two 14 content creators that I've fallen, so. But, no, I, I follow you on that one as well. A bit. Oh, right. Grandma loses her broom at this point. I forgot. And it ran over a chicken. I'm not even gonna apologize.
but... I'm just apologetically burning something in the meanwhile. <laughs> But, um, but yeah. But again, I don't even know how to advertise that. Like, I guess I could... I have a LinkedIn profile that I haven't touched. I was basically was forced to make it because... Mm, no, I, I did something like that too with my recent job. Yeah. Because, like, I basically, I made a LinkedIn profile and, and all that jazz. But I did nothing with it. And I really, really, I made it just to get, you know at the time to get my dad off my back because I'm glad he got on my ass because I was ter even worse about trying to find potential jobs back uh, back five years ago but like he got mm -hmm. on my ass about doing it and about doing it and making it because that's how people find you nowadays is your LinkedIn profile I've been using indeed mostly I mainly made a LinkedIn thing just because like my last company was really good with, uh, or really big on kind of like advertising and stuff through that. But I think part of it for that is I would have to A, go into there and update my profile on LinkedIn and also include make, in the first place, make a reel of my editing skills in my, in my, in whatever I use right now. And then turn around and say, hey, uh, here's what I can do. Here's my editing portfolio, so to say. Yeah, like, you would... Uh, I feel like ed video editing would be similar in nature to, uh, like, art in a sense, where, like, you need to, like, show people an example of what it is that you do. Oh, right, I can do the ocarina and the- I can do the ocarina now and I can also do the, uh, color dungeon. As I proceed to immediately fall down the first hole I find. The only issue is, with me putting up together my portfolio, I'd have to go back through some of my stuff and find where I, uh, did funny little edits, and then put those out online. Or put those find those videos and then go back and then put them up for people to and put them in a compilation thing. Yeah, do them like a best of video. Yeah. Like I've done it or like I oh, damn it. I have I I know of at least one example of such that I could go grab. And it's from it's pretty much a lot of stuff from the uh Golf with your friends videos we did from for my channel. Yeah. Like it'd be a lot of stuff from that, but like I feel like I should have more than just that and whatnot. So I feel like I would have to go find my, you know, videos where I put in subtitle edits with sound effects. Uh, I could probably go find that one Breath of the Wild part where I made a mock-up Rotom bomb. Because I had a verbal, a uh, verbal, or a Freudian slip of sorts. Like, I think I know, like, some of the stuff in the back of my head that I could pull out to put up on, to put together in a pro portfolio. But it's literally just the drive to do it over the drive I have to do my other video creation content right now. <laughs> Right. Color Dungeon. I was about to say, one example that you could do is that one uh, Golf of Friends thing where it was just, you know, celebrating while jumping <laughs> at the net thing. Oh, no, no. That was probably, like, that was a really simple thing for me to put together in the long run because I literally just saved the entire asset playover. And I, every time I heard you say Jumpu, I just control V'd. I mean, one thing to keep in mind, it might be simple to you, but like, I, would, I would still think that's like really impressive if it was just like me just randomly doing that. Like it's something that stands out. Because like you could just do what I do and just like slap, you know, your recordings 
And then just, you know, that's the video. Or you could do funny little shit like that. Yeah, I try and do stuff like that occasionally, but it usually takes me... It usually takes me noticing I've done it within the video itself to initiate me want to do it. Anyway, how am I at for powder? I should buy some more powder. Damn, that's steep. Anyway. But like I said, you know, I've got... Like, just sitting here, sitting here right now, I've got a couple of the moments in my head. Just finding those moments would take, would take a good minute. Especially with some of the stuff I've done in the past, or with how much stuff I've done in the past, finding it is the issue. Even for me, somebody who, who watches it at least three times. leaving my body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're a delivery man for bridges? Got him. Oh yeah, I was talking about that uh, at a Lucky Stream last night a little bit, but I have been watching a couple people play through Death Stranding, and there I do follow the sentiment that some people have is just like, there's not really a lot, they for, like, they forgot the fun aspect of that game, kind of. But if the story itself is hella enthralling. The only issue is like, you know, somebody like me, if somebody like me who has, when I get to sit down with an exploration game, I explore everything and I go for the, as close to 100% without the stupidly menial tasks as possible route. Uh, one thing that I've heard about the game that has interested me is that, like, apparently the music is really good. Like, yeah. the game has, like, a really stellar soundtrack. That's another thing. Like, it has a really stellar soundtrack, and you can, like, share it with others as well. Mm. In a way, like, there's a... There's, a, it, there's an in-game community of sorts. Mm. Dang it. Uh, boulders. We fight with bombs. I mean... That, uh, I've been hearing stuff like that with Death Stranding since the day, since the day the game came out. It's very polarizing in a sense. Either like, you know, you are in love with the game and it's amazing, stuff like that, or why am I playing this? <laughs> this like Walking Simulator 2019. You thought Final Fantasy 13 was bad. <laughs> Woo! about actual walking. <laughs> oh boy, I love walking. <laughs> I didn't even let that man die! <laughs> Death doesn't come for you. I do. Um. Yeah. Well, I figured most of it was copyrighted because either it's a cover or it's the actual song, but there's a lot of copyrighted songs in that game. Mm, that doesn't surprise me. I think there's a boss. A couple rooms to the right. Or at, least one, or at least one room to the right. Oh, look, a map. Fantastic. Oh no, this is perfect. Come here. I'm not sure who actually published this, like, Death Stranding, but, like, I, I get the feeling that, like, this... I mean, it's it's not good in Konami, but, I mean, it's Kojima, and they were pretty touchy about that kind of stuff when it came to Metal Gear 4, so... Game? Hmm? Game, they're all in their holes. <laughs> <laughs> Game glitched. 
<laughs> it thinks that hole is not filled. God damn it, Teal. <laughs> I don't know why I'm blaming Teal of all people for something that just is actually a glitch, but... He has these powers of glitching any game he touches, and I don't want to start carrying on that legacy he has. You mean Proton John? <laughs> I mean, John has an issue too, let's be honest. <laughs> You know, I remember when the Game Boy version of this, or those monsters, would actually blend into those platforms. Oh, yeah. That's bad. Like that—that that was the cool thing about this. Hey, 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 don't, don't pop, don't, 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 don't tase me, bro. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't get to my fairies quick enough. Oops. Man, if I'm struggling now, I'm uh, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be, I'm a little upset at what's gonna be happening in a little while when I get to the boss of this place. This place is def is definitely smarter to come back to when you uh, this is definitely a, a smarter to come back to this place when you have when you have more hearts. But I want to alleviate as much as on myself as I can by getting rid of. Or getting the blue armor so I can try not to die as much. <laughs> safety. I need a safety net. Damn it. Not dying here. Game. I threw out that bottle ages ago and you know it. There. That boss is dead. I think it's to come in here to get the Nightmare's Key, of all things, too. Let's see if I can keep that average up of three deaths per dungeon. <laughs> Okay, no, I still have to go clear this room up here because the game said, uh, no, this, this person doesn't exist here, lol. Okay. Damn it. No, it's not your hole. Get in your hole. Damn it, game. Why did I have to do that? You killed me. For no good reason. Okay. I'll keep- I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, Chief. I literally slashed at random things hoping it would work. 
You know, I hate that. I hate those puzzles. Oh shoot! I, I, I never. I'm terrible at them. <laughs> I never played my flute in front of Marin. <laughs> it's a me. Huh. It's a me, Marin. Now I know who you are. Hi, Beetle. Gonna mess me up because I'm gonna get try and face tank you by jumping and slashing at, like a like a monkey with a with a keyboard. You better believe I'm ready to play <laughs> some Shakespeare. <laughs> well then, that worked uh, out better than I thought it would. You said? I actually won. I didn't die. I thought that was gonna be at least three deaths there. Why not? We're going glass cannon run. It's red mage time. Let me just, you know, kill him before it kills you. <laughs> Smile. Yes. Oh boy. Now, now me, the person with terrible reaction time. Blackos. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! The square yard empty. Yay! Um. But yes, me, the person with the amazingly horrible reaction timing. Let's let's, let's pick the option. Let's me yeet things. Or makes me uh, have to outread my opponent, even if it is. Even if it is something that's just a set of ones and zeros. If I don't know what I'm doing, my opponent sure as hell won't either. <laughs> oh, I was joking with somebody earlier. I was like I said, same same group was playing Smash with her today. I was. I'm gonna grab the diff. I'm gonna grab the actual controller I use so I don't accidentally input something. No, let me grab a controller that's not even turned on so I don't even think about putting in the wrong things. So I was playing Smash earlier with somebody. And I was like, and they were wondering, you know, or they said, you know, man, what are your fighting game skills? And it's just like, listen, man, let me give you an accurate representation of how I do in a fighting game most times. I put my left hand on the thumbstick. Go! You know, there's a beautiful period of delay between, like, hearing the noise on Discord and then seeing it on stream. And it's just like, okay, what is he doing? <laughs> now, that's how I did things when I grew up, man. I was just like, ready? All right, fighting game? Okay, I'm just going to hit all buttons. Here. You know, I still remember one pickish thing that I did to um, Power to Mario once. Do you remember the, um, on the GameCube, like those uh, Naruto fighting games? Yes. So we got the second one, and prior to us going over to his house that day, uh, me and my younger brother discovered the thing with Kakashi, where, like, if you try to do a super attack on him, and then he does his, like, little special parry counter thing, and then does it back to the other person. Huh. And, um, <laughs> we didn't tell PT and that. <laughs> we were just like, hey, so we're going to play Kakashi. And like, all right. And he played Zabuza. And then he did it to us. And then we did the thing back to him. It was great. <laughs> His reaction literally was just like, what the? <laughs> Tommy actually dropped dropped the bomb. Oh, I don't know if he did. This is okay. probably just me misremembering things. But I mean, he was like, "Wait, what's happening? Why are you doing it? What's going on?" <laughs> and we're just like, "What's going on? What do you mean? <laughs> Smile." What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, let's see. Where can I go and what can I do now? Odds are he probably didn't smile since this was his house. <laughs> or swear, rather. Did I say smile? 
You said smile. Yeah. It's a disease from ceiling. We're all getting it. Okay. Martha's Bay time. Who the hell's Martha? Why is she Bay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh god. Smiling is a disease in a game? You know, I believe that. Someone's bound to have done it eventually. I mean, when I think... Evans, no. Oh. Mm. See, when I think smiling and disease, I, for one reason, my brain goes, oh yeah, jo Joker's laughing guess. Oh yeah, that's another thing, the Persona 5 Scramble thing. That's gonna be coming out relatively soon. I saw mm. something on it, but I didn't read too close. What was it all about? Um, it's basically Persona Warriors. Well, that I, that I know, but what was the news? Oh. Uh, I, I think it's coming out soon. Cause I mean... I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that bitch. Scooter? Scooter, having just recently beat a Persona game, is told, "Hey, there's a Persona game, but it's a fire, but it's a uh, it's a Warriors style game." Oh boy, I can't wait to play as the next Frederick. <laughs> yeah, Killer Seven. I don't know too much about Killer Seven. I know it's got a cult following because it is so weird. I think. In yeah, that's about the extent of my knowledge as well. I think it's a... I want to say that it's a... Uh, come here, give me that rock. And I died. Oh no! Um, I want to say it's a studio... It's a Before they became Platinum Games, it was a Studio Clover game. So... Uh, I want to say it was Studio 51? That's it, Studio 51, my bad. I got the wrong, I got the wrong company. Um, somewhere, I guess. I remember reading On Rails Puzzle Shooter. It's a rail shooter? Crazy. Yeah, Suda has a knack. Uh, Suda, uh, Suda Studio, as far as I know, actually has a knack for that kind of well, game. I mean, I, I was about to say, like, I, I remember at one point reading, like, a little guide about the game, like, on the Nintendo Power, I think. Like, they went up for, like, one or two of the levels, and just, like, the way that the game sounded, like, like I figured it was not on rails at all. <laughs> Hello, Bear Man. I have honey. Give me pineapple. Hello, not banjo. I'm trying to figure out what he's cooking. He's no what the chef is cooking. Like I wanna say one's a minestrone and the other is just base chicken noodle soup. Whatever it is, I kinda of want some of it. That shit looks really nice. Wait. Or butternut squash, actually. That's. Well, no, that's a little, that was a little bright for that kind of thing. Wait, he's making chicken noodle soup in a village of animals. Wait. Capital D, colon. <laughs> Is it time for a nut? Ugh, hold on, let me pick up my. I should really, whenever I start streaming, unless I'm using a keyboard, I should just move this whole ensemble it's too close to me so I don't have to lean over. There you go. <laughs> it's not the chicken eating it uh, is what I'm worried about. It's the, uh... It's the, uh... The fact that it's animals eating animals. Effectively a form of cannibalism, if you will. Blurkatory philosophical, philosophical debate about whether we're animals or not. 
<laughs> Have you ever eaten people? It tastes like chicken. It tastes like <laughs> a gingerbread man sits in a gingerbread house. Is that, like, is he made of house? Or is the house made of him? He screams or he does not know. Okay, like that I'm following, but I'm not. I'm not trying to make this a bit. I'm like I'm thinking about it logically, like the bear and maybe the goat that live in this village and the alligator, maybe even the hippo. Like, <coughs> excuse me, them eating eating the chicken noodle soup. That's fine. You know, they're carnivores. They'll eat other animals. Whatever. I'm concerned about you know, I'm concerned about the parrot that lives there. The whatever the Zora is, the fish I guess that lives there, the rabbits that live there. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> that's the part that's got me going. A uh, big head scratch, big oof. All right, now we go back. Going back to the lab again. Messed up. Oh yeah. Let's not listen to it. So I did excuse me. So I did play I played well, I've been I've have had well actually two days in a row now, oddly enough. I've I have been playing Smash and I have been trying out Byleth. I like Byleth. I like the I like their move set. It's weird because you have to be pretty you even more so than more so than I think I'm qualified to do, you do have to premeditate a lot of your moves. So like you have to like it kind of gives you the feel of planning a move like, you know, tactics wise that Fire Emblem has. But in but, you know, in a fighting game. Because all the moves are slow, but they do chain pretty good. Or it could be like that one Twitter post that I saw where you take the bow relic and then try to fire the sphere relic with it. <laughs> like, a combo that I will tell you works is... I think uh, part of this combo only works when they're at like about 50 to 60%, somewhere in that range, depending on character size. But up throw into up B into side B is true. What I will, but what I will say is, but what I, what I will say though is, I have because they did buff the show the shotos a little bit. I have been playing a lot more Terry, and it feels really good that I'm actually able to pull off Ghost Sauce Buster Wolf pretty consistently. I forget that Terry's actually been in the game for quite some time now. I still feel like he's still like they're still working on him. <laughs> Also, this this animation still in here, point for point from the Game Boy game. You got a Marin. This is your big chance. All right, now I'm hopefully I have enough runway for this, but I need to. What happened to Faye? Also, while you tell me that, I'm going to do this. So, watch Marin here. She 
She run. <laughs> there she go. I'm so fucking what? Please, okay. I want to just randomly find a seashell. <laughs> no, there's a. You basically get a tuning fork now for, for oh. those seashells once you get 15 of them. See. So, it helps a lot. Um, I gotta look this up. I gotta read this. Because I think there's a good reason. There's a good reason why I jumped off of it. Why I jumped off the game when I did. Uh, is it called? Let me see here. Let me just go to the Reddit, because th cause that's probably going to be the top voted Reddit. There's probably going to be the top voted thing, is whatever the hell this is. The season pass thing. Yeah, I'm trying to lead, read through this. Oh, don't tell me. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I apologize, I apologize if I'm going quiet. I'm just trying to read what the hell this is. What is it? List of the perks for the for Fire Emblem Heroes Pass. Skins that also give plus... Skins that give plus two to all stats. Special, hey, special quests. <laughs> Expanded summoner support be able to summoner support three heroes at one at once. Return to your previous. Return to your previous if your heroes are, haven't acted yet. So redo redo a step if you goof. Have to start uh, restart matches. Applicable. So for ten dollars, they're making PVP. More pay to win than it already was. Extra quest. Oh, for this is. I thought we were talking about um three houses for a second. No, I'm I'm in fire on here. Sorry. Oh my god! Wait, so they're literally making oh. Yeah, ten dollars a month <laughs> is is what I'm talking about. These five items. But why? Like they already make shit tons of money with the damn thing. <laughs> Well, they're probably also now about to lose a bunch of their fan base because of this. They basically, but yeah, they basically made so you get special quests that give you more orbs per month. Um, which, by the way, I saw the comment, Nera. Dragalia does also have does have a paid thing, but you pay for it. You pay for it when you want it. You don't pay a monthly subscription. Is there even a monthly subscription thing? No, not not in Dragalia. Like package. 
Yeah, it's just like packages. It's, just like yeah. it's a package usual. you buy. I think it's like ten dollars base. It's not like you know diamondite or anything. It's ten dollars base. Oh, you mean like the starter pack thing? Not even the starter packs. There are additional yeah. quests you can buy for yeah. more materials to upgrade. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's like ten dollars flat, and you can buy it whenever you want it. So you don't have to buy it every month. Yeah, yeah. This no. If that doesn't kill Fire Emblem, nothing will. I mean, honestly, like, there's been so many situations lately of just things that should be killing games and people just end up paying for them. And just, um... Okay, let's get back to the game in question instead of instead of ragging on, on Fire Emblem Heroes. Let's rag on something that deserves it, like Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. how, <laughs> yeah. How Reforged probably should probably should have spent another year in development, or you know, just don't be lazy, and pass off the work to someone else, and now you can play everything from the beginning. Hey, kids! Arc Knights is a game. <laughs> have you ever wanted to live in an? Apocalypse-filled world for being a furry is a disease, but it gives you superpowers as well. Yeah! <laughs> I'm being, like, probably more than half serious, by the way, about that. <laughs> no, I have propositions on what happens in a game, in a, in a, a free-to-play game, or other things. Like, it doesn't even phase me. What you kind of described, I've seen an anime of. <laughs> except it's except it's part it's part socializing with the partner that has the disease and part effectively cockfighting <laughs> I mean like uh, I was actually going to bring it up to you sooner or later but I don't know if you've actually looked into that kasha but it's a tower defense kasha oh nope no I have not oh, and I have. don't really have much inkling to do so Really? I thought you I thought you were into tower defense stuff. I'm into tower defense to a degree. I'm not the best <laughs> at it, and I feel like this one this one would basically be you either have to be a godlike at tower placement or you have to wail. And like I, maybe not necessarily because they make it so that like you you can get units somewhat plentifully like, it's strictly units, like, you're just putting units out on the field. But, like, getting the higher rarity units is nice, but at the same time, it's also considerably, considerably easier to promote the lower rarity units. And they still hold their own, too, so... Also, I didn't know this happened until I watched Slim's video today. Oh, yeah, you can take it right here. Wait, 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 what? <laughs> Oh no! There he go! Oh god, it's like seeing through his head as well. Link's just like calmly looking at it too. No, he's not. You can see his expression. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just the fucking what? Well, be the pros aren't allowed in here. I basically pay ten dollars ten dollars for a funny cutscene. But no, that's Pro isn't season. the word I would have used, truth be told. But no, that the that subscription thing in Fire Emblem Heroes, that can that can go. That can go the way of the dodo. Right, I have the pineapple now. I was like, wait, what do I have? Anyway, Animal Village time. I'm, like, I realize people have spent a lot of time firing heroes. I know I have. I've spent money on Fire Emblem heroes. Like, a lot of people probably have. <laughs> I've actually just virtually uninstalled the game from my phone. <laughs> oh, no, I did that a while ago, too. I mean, it's still on the phone, but, like, I deleted all the data on it. Like, I could always just boot it back up by, you know, doing account recovery, but, yeah.
In fairness, though, someone showed me a Final Fantasy, I mean, a Final Fantasy gotcha that has 14 characters in it. Unlike Exodus. <laughs> so that's what's taking up a little bit of memory as well. <laughs> Huh. Well, he's fucking dead. Also, because I remember this little Easter egg from the Game Boy game is the only reason why I found ever found this secret seashell. So if you go off screen enough to respawn him. Uh, it, it's not tingling a ding a ding, but. Place by the water. Oh, it's not doing it right now. Okay, I'll go through the yard in the desert then. Come back and do it. Damn it. Um. But I will say, like anybody who's been watching, who's anybody who's been like chilling in the stream watching this and been wa like wanting to play this game, I will tell you that definitely, you know, this is probably this is one of my favorite Zelda games. But I'm gonna tell you guys, if you want to play this, if you want to play this game, I would say find the Game Boy game or buy the Game Boy game over this one, oddly enough, or buy this one if it, you find it for like forty bucks. It's definitely not, it's it's good, but it's not like, like with uh, Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, it's not $60 good. Mm, that's kind of sad. I would say this, this is probably more $50 good, actually. Like, I really like it, and it's a really faithful recreation of one of my favorite games, but it still has problems. Especially the dungeon builder mode. I've already expressed my hatred with that with that earlier today. Oh and yeah, I should say, if you want to get hundred percent you have to do all all well, you have to do twelve twelve of the uh, twenty dungeons Dompe has. Pulled it out of the hole, hell yeah. And now I'm going in the hole. Yeah. Although what I will say, and I, th I said in the video, I said in my video series too, but what I will say is like, they could take this art style, like let Grezzo take the reins again, but let, and make sure Capcom's cool with this too, by the way. But I would say, you know, definitely make a all-in-one all cart version of Link's, of uh, the Oracle games, put it all in one cart, and push it back out, and put it, put that back out. Because that will sell, that will just go. So that will be $60, good to go. There it is. Now we can do this. One thing they could add too is that supposedly it was supposed to be a third game based on the green lady. Yep. Like you could do something with her. That's the only reason why I knew that it's Secret Chi Shell was because that Easter egg is in the Game Boy game too. Anyway. We can now go up up the mountain. Climb the mountain. Let's see, what is it? Oh god, it's almost one o'clock. Is it? Wait, no, it's midnight. Yeah, so it's well, it's twenty two, but remember we're in different time zones. Wait. What? You're in eastern, I'm in central. Uh huh. But anyway, it's, yeah, it's 20 to 11 for me. It's 20 to midnight for you. But. 
think I'll do what I'm gonna what I need to do to at least open up the next dungeon, but I don't think I'm gonna go in today. Because Lord knows what will happen if I go in there and I keep dying constantly in the water dungeon, because that place sucks. So let me at least get out there and get that started. Oh, also, let me see if I can start doing this on stream, because now that I have access to the ocarina, I want to... Just for my own curiosity, I want to play the ocarina in front of the windfish egg every time we get an instrument. I'll probably forget, but... I just want to see if they did this, if they did this as well. Yep, so you can so you can still do that. Nice. Let's see, I don't think anything happens on this cliff face, doesn't? Oh. God, what was our what was our issue last night? We were like I, like even more so unusual. I think we really ripped into lucky last night. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did we do last night? <laughs> like, we just... Well, I know I also was a key component to all this, but like, we just... We were constantly making jokes, because he died by... He died Slime, Ran Slime Rancher twice by just throwing himself off oh. a cliff. No, yeah, well, he was, doing, he was doing the Mochi minigame, and he... Like, one thing that will kill you if you're not careful in Slime Rancher is that your jetpack is tied to your salmon. Oh, yeah. So if you try jumping and try hitting the jetpack and you're out of thing, then phew. <laughs> and it kind of sucks because that means he doesn't get the turn in. Which is the whole point of the mini game. Yeah. They didn't catch that, but I'm just repeating. Basically, it's a mini game where you get a rare material that you can only turn in at this mini game. And if you die, you lose all your materials. So, just catch everybody up to speed on that. But no, like I, like I laid into him because I, because I made the joke of, look, Lucky just wants to be a dragoon today. He just wants to grab himself by the collar and yay! <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, there's a part in one of my older videos where I, I feel like I could just take that and just like that's Dragoon in a nutshell except for the fact that I didn't die but hey Servitix actually working out for you Woo! <laughs> cool. <laughs> you've never known fear until you do an animation locked move in the middle of four AOEs <laughs> Yeah, I've, I haven't, I mean, I've raided in the past, but, like, I've never had anything like that happen. Although I did tell the, although I think I did tell the story on stream a while, on stream a long time ago. Um, wh wh that was, also I went to the wrong place first, oops. Um, bye Nara, Nara. Bye Nara, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I'm not streaming for too much longer anyway, so don't worry about it. Um, but like, um, there's a, there's a, uh, in Wild, there's a boss, there's a boss fight, uh, God, I can never remember the name, 
It was in Noxramus, though. It was in the Plague Wing. Where the guy's room is a half circle. The guy's room is a half circle, and it's like a cracked floor, but there's obviously divides in the cracked floor to break it up into four, into four parts, except for a circle where he normally stands throughout the fight. At the... on the uh, flat side of the room. And what he does, whenever he's... whenever it's not time to damage him, he basically... He, uh, he basically stands on that platform and calls a plague. And it basically goes from one section to the other. It goes, it, or it he'll light up three sections of the floor with plague that basically one shot you. And he does. He basically does it like on a rotation. So like left segment, left middle, right middle, right segment, and he'll like do that back and forth, th two or three times. And then you hit dam. And then you hit damage phase or tank and spank phase. I had a friend. I had a friend who played who played mage, and the, and mage has a spell, which anybody who's played Hearthstone or knows Hearthstone is very familiar with the spell, Pyroblast. It does dummy damage, but it has the longest cast time of the game at, at eight seconds. Those panels splash up with poison every. <coughs> excuse me, splash up with poison every four seconds. Somehow he found the pixel perfect location between two, the panels on left and left center, where he started up his cast for Pyroblast. Thought he was gonna, we thought he was gonna get hit by one of them. And by the way, like that was that's a spell where you, when you start casting it, you can't stop casting it. <laughs> so he started up the spell on that. Forgetting, uh, uh, there is a spell. There's a also like a prep spell, Power of Mind, which preps the spell. So you, it takes like it's like an instant cast if you do that. But he forgot to prep do uh, do that that preparation. So he popped this. So he started casting spell, couldn't move. Managed to find the pixel perfect spot in between those two segments where he was not considered in damage range on for both of those cycles. So he's just sitting there casting his meanwhile we're all doing the dance and we just see him th and we just see damage fly out in the middle of the fight. And once we get done with the fight, the guild leader we're all because we're all in ventrilo at the time. The guild leader uh, calls him out and says, "Did you just cast pyroblast in the middle of the fight?" "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I'm amazing. <laughs> Magic pixel, baby. Yeah, he, he literally found the magic pixel. He couldn't have stayed there for the next cycle, though, because on the next cycle, it, it would have counted that those entire two quadrants as death. You know, funny enough, oh, there's I... actually a spot like that in the new trial, or, or the recent trial, or, like, at, at the very end of the fight, and, like, he does this mechanic where it counts AoE. He's, like, they just travel under your... But there's like a little spot, very specifically, where you can stand there and nothing will hit you. It's great. <laughs> I've done it once and immediately died afterwards because someone messed up the tank mechanic. But, hey! <laughs> hey. Also, okay. Or no, so it wasn't a tank mechanic. Some, like, there was a bleed and... <laughs> Kayla's weren't ready for it. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so I, I thought you couldn't move in Pyroblast, so he literally just he literally just cast that and didn't care about the consequences is what happened. Gotcha. Regardless. That's kind of crazy, though, how, like, there's, like, a spell that forces you to just lock. Like, there's nothing like that in 14. Like, when I mean animation lock, like, when you use the ability, you use the ability, but, like, you have to wait for the, like, the second or two long thing. And then you can move again. But like, there's nothing for like, there's just, there are spells that can take forever to cast. But usually in those situations, like, you know, you can move. You'll cancel the spell cast, but you can move. Or just swift cast.
anyway. Um, sorry, I'm I'm doing what I should be doing a few minutes from now instead of right now. Does anybody have any questions before I end off tonight's stream? Uh, I will keep this. I will keep this death counter up for the next time we play this. And well, of course, stream some more on Monday. Maybe we'll do more of this. Maybe I'll move, do something else. I don't know. Uh, I did just I did just mention that I am, you know, I am in the middle of a layoff time, so I have more time to myself. So maybe I'll bump myself once I get caught up on video stuff back to where I feel comfortable again. Maybe I'll bump myself up to four days a week of streaming, like I used, like I was before. We'll see if that happens. But don't don't call that a promise right now, because I don't know if my mental state will allow me to do that. Um. So sad. Yeah, well, because before when I when I used to do four days four days a week streaming, when I had time off, there were a couple days when I went back to work and tried to keep that up. Where it's just like, I got home from work, just like, yeah, my mind is full of fuck. I can't even form sentences. I'm not trying to stream tonight. My mind is full of fuck. It was bad. 